Good morning, good evening, good afternoon guys. Welcome to day two, well day one of Budapest. We're just getting ready to leave the hotel now and it's a glorious day. It is so warm already and it's 9.30 a.m. It's total the shining vibes. This is the uh, entrance of the hotel. Check out this door. Ooh, look at it. This is the hotel from the front. It looks pretty posh, doesn't it? Right, so we're just outside our hotel now. We're gonna go to the New York Cafe, see if we can get breakfast. But we've probably left it a little late. Let's try. So we're just heading down towards the most beautiful cafe in the world, the New York Cafe now. There's one of the river boats that's a bus. inside the New York Cup now and this place is incredible. I think I'm gonna go for the eggs Benedict. But they do some pretty nice stuff. Just look at this. Wow. Have a look for it. Just had our breakfast there in New York Cap. It was okay, like the food wasn't great, but the experience was really nice. We're just gonna nip back the hotel now, the drone should be charged, and then we're going to the Fisherman's Bastion. We're gonna get the Metro, so I'll show you what that's like and how it works. Uh, it's about one pound for a single ticket, or you can buy a 24, 72 hour pass, but we're just gonna get the singles. Look at this, it's such a beautiful day. Look, they welcome tourists so much that they're giving out free luggage just on the street. Okay, we've arrived at the metro station. This is the second oldest underground in the world. First being in London. Let's go. Hi, uh, we're going to uh, Fisherman Bastion. Yeah. Two. I don't know if it's just me, but this is like the strangest angle. Hey, look. So I'm guessing that is the time it counts down to when it arrives. A minute to go, let's see. So this is what we're doing, four stops. So we're here now. One, two, three. That's the fourth stop. Yeah. 
Now we've got a choice to exit here, but what do we want to see when we leave? This is our first time on the pest side. Buddha. This is our first time on the Buddha side. And look at this. This is the view when you leave the station. The Hungarian Parliament building. Just take a look at that. Buddha, Buddha pest. Famous Danube River, Parliament Building, Citadella up there. Just have a little panorama around here, it's so pretty. Just had to get some incredible drone footage of that, like, whew. Insane man, now we're just looking for our next thing to do. Look at the street signs, he's got a baguette for a finger, look. What is that? So many Italian flags in Hungary. Just look at this church, look. Wow. Look at Pam's picture she's just taken. Look at that roof. Wow. Right, so we're following the baguette finger up these stairs. Look at this little guy. How cool is that? We're just coming up the top of the steps at the Fisherman's Bastion now. It is such a beautiful day, man. So I've just stopped at this cafe for a little refreshment. Look at the view. So we've just bought two tickets to come up the Fisherman's Bastion. It's like one pound twenty each, and so far, it's worth it. Look. There's a lot less tourists up here than there is down here. You get some sort of much better views too. Just look at this for a backdrop. We're going to get a little selfie. This is incredible. What a view. This is a langosh and a lemonade. Langosh, it's like a dough with a fried cheese, garlic, and pepperoni. And a little lemonade. Looks good. How is it? Pan? That's sausage. Try it. The pan's putting the first bit of langosh. Bit of sausage. How is it? Nice. I'm gonna try some. Benny has nine. Benny! So we've just gone to share one of these. It's like a little bread, goulash, and spicy potatoes. How is it, Pam? You enjoying? Yeah, it's nice. <coughs> nice. This place is like being inside Shrek, look. Beautiful. Can't get over that view. That's where we've just sat and had lunch down there. Right, we're just leaving the fisherman's bastion now. Back down the steps. 
to explore some more. That was incredible up there, but I would say if you're gonna come, eat before you go there, because we've just paid like tourist tax basically. <laughs> Still worth it, lovely food, but. It's more, no more than what would be in England. Yeah, it's at like English prices, whereas when you're in Hungary, it's not what you expect. So, Considering obviously go around. Them surroundings and have them yeah, views for worth you. it for the views, 100%. So we've just got to the base of the castle now, but here's one for non-stop Euro trip. And Mark, let's make a trip. The funicular, I think we're gonna get that up the top now because it looks so good. Have a look at that. There's the funicular going up now and one coming down. We'll get on that. 4,000 Hungarian to go on the Funicular. Look at that artwork. It's like a little mural. Look, it's all individual tiles. Look at the detail there. That is incredible. Wow. 1880. So it looks like the return ticket. It's ten pound each, four thousand Hungarian. We're doing this instead of the funicular. So we're on now. Now we got these tickets for five thousand hope each uh, because it was a full group. Just discounted them down, and basically it's a hop on, hop off anywhere. Oh, just pulled away. So we're going now, and we've got the very back seat. So we've got to see everything this way. Look. There is the castle and the funicular. Yeah, you can go. And we are here. I'd like the belt on, please. Pull it away. And a little electric buggy. Breaks this guy like it's an electric buggy, but it's a bit of a neck snapper, isn't it? It's kind of me here, I can't even say. We've got the back seats, the breeze is lovely, and the view is. I mean, we, we are seeing everything after, like these guys, they're facing forward, we're facing backwards, but I like it a lot. So that's the first stop, we're not getting off there. This is what we're doing. I'll show you inside of the map. You get a lot of like discounts with these as well. So like if you want to eat at any of the restaurants or go to any of the shops. So this is it here. So we got on at number one, which is the stop at the castle. We just came up to number two here, where my little finger is. Then we'll be going to number three there. Uh, and that's, I think we're gonna get off at number three. Well, it's a nice little, nice little stuff so far. I'm enjoying this little ride. There's so many statues where they're killing the dragon. And that might be why Europe is dragon free, because they've killed them all. You ever thought about that, man? Thank you, right? You don't see any dragons now, do you? Thank you, hungry. Look at these streets, though. Kids. <laughs> right, we've just got off there, stop three. This is the castle stop. So we're gonna have a little look around here. There's another dragon that is no more. Hungry. Look at these boys. Look. Look at the hats. Look at that for a statue. Wow. It's pretty special here and I can't see it yet, but I know the view over there is gonna be amazing. You ready? Let's see this view together. Look at that bird though, that is amazing. 
Ja, aber 360 Grad fahren. Das ist auch nicht so 360 Grad. So, der Finicule kommt auf hier. Und that's where you get off, inside there. Just in the castle grounds now. Look at this. There's that bird. Or is it a griffin? Beautiful though. I think that might be Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. Just look at this. Wow. We just stopped for a drink, Pepsi, right? But they have noggers, they have noggers, <laughs> Polish noggers in Hungary. Oh, that is incredible, man. Mm, look at this. Wow. Look at that for timing, right back. Thank you, man. This might show the angle better, though. Look how steep it is. Beast though, he hasn't stopped, look. No, stop it. Come on. He's nearly done it. He's nearly there. Wow, well, he's done it. If you remember the Poland videos, time bar, <coughs> top joy here gonna have one now. Right, we're just back in the shining corridor. There's that little kid on the bike. Right, we've just nipped back in the room. I've got a fan now, which should help. But I think we might have a little look about the pool and the sauna and stuff. We've just come back to freshen up because it is so hot. Just feel rank. So we've just come up, have a look on the roof here. Is that the synagogue over there? And look at it, there's a little roof garden. There's Citadella. Little yeah. seating area here. Yeah. Climb up those ladders for a better view. Look at it, it looks so cool. Let's go check the pool. So here's the pool here. We've just come through this side. And this is the view off. Hey, you know what, it's quite a nice hotel this. Look, there's the pool. Nice. So this is the Galleria. It's like the mezzanine level. There's a bar there. Beautiful. This is the view over. There's a piano there. Little seat area. Little arcade out the back. And then this beautiful roof. And the door. Can't get over this door. Have a look at it. How nice is that? We're just walking down the street now. Check this door out. Look at that. And we think this is the ruin bars here. Starting here. They look pretty cool. We'll go in one. Going in here. The little food place. So cool in here. All the little food places. Look at how cool this place is. chicken strips this this is the drink just stop so I can't get a little bite there got the burrito chips and a panda 
So we're just in Arriba right now. Such a cool little place. Here's my burrito, tomato, and the chips, and a little panda. Mexicans destroyed. That's why I've just ate Arriba. You know it's a good Mexican when you ask it for spicy and they punish you with the heat. But it was really nice food, really good Mexican food. Ooh. So we're just gonna go on the octagon, but we have to go back up the stairs to get the tickets. Look at that. Also, check this guy's hair out, it's amazing. Look. Guys, just kicking out all the licks behind us. side of Parliament lit up. We just had a little walk up back across the river. Incredible. Just look at that. That is impressive. Look this dog's super cute. But my question is why is this dude shirtless? What does he do? Sitting in the sofa here, and the dog watches you come down. I don't know why this guy's half naked. No hallways up here. Right, we're just back at the hotel now. Gotta get this video edited from today now and uploaded, um, and then just chill and then back at it tomorrow morning. So I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Day one of Budapest. See ya, peace. Right, so we've just arrived in our hotel now. It's the Continental. Uh, I've just noticed the big old fizzy water here as well.